turn on the GraphTech, the power button is located on the left side of the machine above the power cord. Plug the Makerspace laptop where you made your design into the black USB cord connected to the GraphTech. Make sure the simple MD box is displayed on the home screen. This is the simple mode display menu which is more user friendly and allows pre-configured conditions. To load the vinyl roll, place the roll on the metal rods on the back of the machine. This provides a stable media feed. Then pull out the beginning of the vinyl roll and feed it through from the back to the front of the machine. When cutting heat transfer vinyl, you will place the material face down on your cutting mat with the back face up. This way, you are cutting the design into the back of the material. Oftentimes, the front side will be shiny or glittery, while the back will be dull. The next step will be to align the pinch rollers. These pinch rollers help feed the media through the machine as well as hold it in place. You can move the pinch rollers in place with your hands. It's very important that each pinch roller be placed under a blue line. These blue lines are featured on the front of the GraphTech. If either pinch roller is not aligned with the blue lines, the machine will notify you of the error in the view screen and you will have to correct it before you can go on. The pinch rollers need to be located on the far edge of each side of the material. Once you are satisfied with their placement on the material and you verify that they are each under a blue line, you can lock them in place. On the back of the machine, there is a lever that moves up and down. This is used to essentially lock and unlock the pinch rollers. Pressing the lever up locks the pinch rollers in place against your material and pressing the lever down will move the pinch rollers up so you can readjust them as needed or to adjust or remove your material. Here is a video example showing how easy it is to move the pinch rollers just using your hands to adjust them to fit underneath the blue lines. When the pinch rollers are located under blue lines and each on the far side of your media, you can press up the lever in the back. A list of options appear on the screen when you lock your pinch rollers in place. Select Roll 1 Front Edge by pressing the number 1 key. With this option, the machine will find the corner of your media and set the appropriate start point. Roll 2 Current Position will cut the vinyl in the position it currently sits in. This could be helpful if you are printing multiple projects on the same roll of vinyl. For example, this would allow you to finish one project and begin another by pushing the down arrow a little to feed the vinyl through and create a little space between projects. Then you could set your own starting point or origin point by clicking the origin button on the GraphTech. Now it knows to start the next print at this point and your two projects won't overlap. Select number 3, or sheet, when you are using a sheet of vinyl. It will read the width and height of your sheet and display it in the view screen. However, we recommend using a whole roll of vinyl when possible, rather than individual pieces, simply because it makes the process easier and the machine grip a little more stable. I will select roll 1 because I am using a roll and want to start at the corner. It's going to read the width of your material. The number will flash on the screen and the scanner will stop at the far edge of your material. If the blade, the little blue section, is a little bit off the edge of your material, you can adjust it by pushing the left and right arrow buttons. In this video, you will see that when the number 1 button is pushed, it will start to scan across the material to gather the information of height and width. The measurement of your material will be briefly displayed on the screen. When it reads the width of your material, it will be able to automatically send that information in to the GraphTech Studio software. If you click the Open the Page Window button, you will see the size that was also displayed on the GraphTech screen moments ago. So right now you can see the width says 
10 inches, but in a moment, because it is set to automatic mode, that number is going to change. Now it's just over 13 inches. It automatically reads the width and height and sends it to the software for you, but it's never a bad idea to double check. If you press the condition slash test button on the GraphTech, this will show you different presets that include cut speed and force. We typically use preset 1 for outdoor use when we cut most items. Press enter on the GraphTech to select the preset. Press the origin button on the GraphTech to set the starting point on your material. This tells the cutter where to start cutting. It will tell you new origin point is set on the view screen. At this point, the graph tech is ready and set up to cut your material. Now we will head back to the software to tell it to print. When the graph tech is finished cutting, it will stop cutting and return to the origin point. You can roll out your material by clicking and holding the down arrow. This will unroll the media. If you want to unroll quickly, you can hold down the fast button while simultaneously holding the down arrow button. When your full image is visible, stop pressing the arrow and cut the design off from the rest of the vinyl roll in a straight line. When you are finished, you can push the down lever in the back to lift the pinch rollers and release the vinyl roll. Roll the vinyl roll up and place it back in its stored location. Depending on the intricacy and size of your design, you can weed the extra vinyl off from your vinyl sheet using your hands or with weeding tools.